Howdy, everybody. It's your favorite apostates. I'm McKay. Oh, this shit already started. Let's go. I didn't have to mess with the chat. Oh, snap. I usually have to mess around with it. How's everybody been doing? Howdy, everybody. Turn us down, Sorry. Jordan. Sorry. What's good? Oh. Who's Tim and oh Newman? Like Newman Zone. Hello, friends. Let's see who we got in here. Coley, shout out to Sage, our loving moderator. Sage is the bomb. Tim, hello, Gnome Queen. Good Lots to see of you. Usual suspects. Social spoons, hello. I'm glad to see that everybody made it. I had two scares, the second of which being Jen, Fundy Friday's Jen, sending us a screenshot saying, you guys are going live at 1 a.m.? Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> I'm dumb, but maybe not, maybe not that dumb, luckily. We're going to try something out. We're going to go live on TikTok at the same time to see if we can bring some people over. We moved to YouTube and our original TikTok audience got very mad because I know. they're we like, where'd you go? And we're like, we're on YouTube. And they're is, like, I don't want to do that. I, I don't blame them. There's like new uh, messages. Let's see what everybody's I know. Saying. I was looking new at hat. our homies. New hat. I don't know if you can tell. You can tell if I go like this. It has a capybara on it. Jordan got a new hat. I got it for her. This is true. We love it, honestly. Oh my y'all, 400 of you and y'all here. Wow. I am Jordan is not from the south. I, if anybody uh, if anybody didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to shout out my blanket. This is a godsend. Okay, to me. This blanket has a lot of hype. It is called <laughs> what is it? minky no we are not sponsored by them I'm we are not, not saying... sponsored this is not an ad okay we're but not saying who it was redact that thank you they are a cult basically but they are they're based out of utah aren't they yeah i'm assuming yeah. they're owned by mormons so you know don't judge me but they have these blankets and they're called hug blankets because they like this is not an ad they stretch like look at this how do i like, look at that. It's supposed to feel like a hug. Like, it's stretchy. Like, that's amazing. Hello? Come on. Who wouldn't love that? And it's just, like, so soft. And so I never bought one because they're, like, they are expensive for a fucking blanket. Like, really, though. But truly, I only bought one because my mother-in-law, my in-laws have them, and I tried it, and it's magical. And so I was like, okay, we're going to spend the money and get it because it's amazing. So they are expensive. Um, so here I am showing this to you, but it is a worthy expense. I am sorry. Okay. Good night. There we go. We call it a business expense now. <laughs> 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 Love it. Honestly, honestly, uh, we wanted to talk about a few things to get started. Um, if you noticed, I don't know if you can already see the change. Howdy. Um, let's see here for the members. Let me look at what this looks like on YouTube. Actually, is there a button in there, Joe? Button where? For join. members, join membership. There's one right here. Is that what it is? Oh, hell yeah. If you look down below next to, I guess, the subscribe button or in the same vicinity where the subscribe button goes, you can, in fact, join us as a member let me show y'all part of the reason why was we saw this and I, I don't want to be like alarming or anything I'm just sharing information and we want everybody to be in the know about things let's switch screens here real quick patreon lay, lays off its entire security team today there was an update about this patreon confirms that it laid off five members of its security team plus Another 80 employees, but denies that these people made up its entire security team. As a matter of policy, we can't share the exact number of Patreon employees working on security. 
uh, blah, 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 working on security, but can confirm a majority of patrons, Patreon's internal engineers working on security were not laid off. Um, t- so they told PC Mag. This is not to alarm anyone. No, we don't want to be alarmist. There is no confirmed breaches. There is no con- like security concerns as of right now. Yeah. So don't stress. Um, but just be mindful of that. So if you're more comfortable like using PayPal or I think they do Apple Pay as well. Oh, on YouTube? Mm-hmm. That's pretty lit. Um, but anyway. I, I mean, you have the backing, the security backing of Google, which honestly, there's never zero risk whenever you're on the internet and things like that. But at least there's a lot going in to it when you're on a Google platform. So not to dog like Patreon or anything up. like that. I turned the mics up. Shut up, PC Mag. Turn the mics up. Is everybody having an issue? I literally I've have seen not at least changed two it. people mention Son it. Of a fucking B. Yes. Yes, I'm pretty cool. sure I read that they outsource security. I'm pretty sure somebody else had mentioned yeah. that too. Just because um, they're like laying people off or whatever doesn't necessarily mean that there's like security issues. But obviously, if we want people to feel comfortable, so we've added the members, the YouTube membership feature. It has the same perks as Patreon, actually more just because of the integration with YouTube mm-hmm. um, that Patreon just can't offer. So if you would like to change your Patreon subscription over, it's a one-to-one. You can just cancel. I recommend waiting until the end of the month Um, because I don't know if you can get refunded for the month or whatever. Or you could shoot us a message, and I think we can refund a month or whatever. But I know know that there's some people who do not, like, they like to keep everything on one platform. So if you would rather support us on YouTube so you don't have to go over to Patreon – that is now an option for you. So our volume is low, according to everyone. So okay, thank I'm you, to, I don't know besties. what the fuck happened. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Watch, you just blew out their eardrums. I'm watching the bar. I'm watching the bar. Let's turn it up. Let's turn it up. My, turn my standard up. is going like five up boats. Let's see how that is. Is that a little bit better, everybody? Talk to me, friends. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't mess with anything, so I usually just send it. What's up, Kristen? Over on on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, come and visit us over here on YouTube, everybody. You can have a little better. bit better of an experience. Thank you. Glad that I could help everybody. Hello. If you're on TikTok, come over to YouTube. Besties, please. <laughs> Some of you I can see are on both. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I wish I had a, an applause sound that I could just hit, <laughs> but I don't have anything like that ready. <laughs> so, um, I don't have uh, the integration with Discord uh, like worked through yet. I need to do that tonight. So fear not. And then we're going to add some, we're going to get some custom emojis. So custom memojis custom is, emojis. Yeah. So that's like really there are like not a lot of differences between the two platforms. It's just so no. if people don't want to deal with Patreon and they're yeah. like YouTube is Plus just it's easier. Just, it's one site that you're using. Yeah. Like when you go to Patreon, you end up back over here. So it's like Yeah. Kind of whatever. So we figured Whoa. we would give people the options. <laughs> Fundy Fridays. Jen! This is meta. <laughs> Jen. This is frightening. I have too many platforms open. Okay, let's. What other announcements do we need to make? Um, good question. We are officially filming our Patreon exclusive next week on either Monday or I'm pretty sure we're gonna do it on Monday. So stay yeah, tuned we'll for do that. It on Monday. We've been saying that we're gonna do it forever, and then just everything pops. Hi, the Kristen. Fuck up, so. We're over here. We love you, bestie. We're doing our best. Um, other than that. I think that's it. I think that was it for the time being. Video coming Monday. It will be an interesting video. That is for sure. Coming Monday. Yeah. So. We're going to be all about it. Thank you, We're going to have a lot to um, start off with. We're going to have an ad on that one. So. 
What? Check it out. We're going to have an ad on Monday's video. I'm telling all of you so that if oh. we forget, you can hold us accountable. Yeah, we do need to do that. Adam and Eve sponsorship, baby. Let's go. Okay. Anyway, let's get into this shit. Yeah, dude. There's already 500 of you here. So, yeah, we already got that uh, that situation with Patreon squared Hit away. Hit that MF like button. Hit that like button. Thank you for the comments on my blankie. I love it. Jordan, will you figure out how to pin? There's like a, a feature on on TikTok where you can like pin a comment or like a chat. That way people see it when they come in. You on, should figure out how you do that. On the live? Yeah. I don't know how to do that. <clears throat> you don't know? We're going to no, figure I that don't. out someday. Anyway, what should we go into first? Do we want to hear about Crumble first? I can't. I think we've got to start it off with a little comedy. What do you think, Joe? Maybe yes. But <laughs> I can't. Just so you know, the TikTok screen is too small for me to see usernames. But I am seeing it from time to time. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Our child is asleep in the room behind me. He sleep. He goes to bed. Way before we do this. Yes, come join us on YouTube. Anyway. Anyway. Let's kick it off with a little bit of, yeah, you will be missing out if you're just lurking on TikTok over there, because uh, we are watching some great content over here. Uh, let's hit this off with something good. <laughs> this is dumb, but I thought I it was funny. Realized, oh, that would have that was almost dangerous. Almost had some copyrighted music playing. <gasps> I forgot to turn it off. I just muted it because the keyboard wasn't working. Anyway, uh, Jordan thought this was hilarious, and I also think it's hilarious. And we want to shape them in the right way. In fact, something happened recently in our own backyard, not literally, but in Texas. <laughs> I whacked myself in the face. Okay. We're from San Antonio, so not too far away, Dallas, Texas. Um, this was in the news a lot. I just can't for Bethany. This Can is the we... first time that I saw this, and... Play it again. Can we get an instant It will give them sexual that? diversity, opportunity. You know, their young minds are so moldable and we want to shape them in the right way. In fact, something happened recently in our own backyard. Not literally, but in Texas. I myself Okay. It's... The funny thing about it is twofold. It is the fact that she hit herself in a way that she's like, ow, I hurt myself. Which, I mean, it is a folder. You, I guess you could kind of like cut yourself. You know, paper well, what cuts, was she? But then it was Kristen's reaction, which is like, okay. <laughs> you could just tell. TikTok, come over to YouTube. Um, you can just tell that she's so... Kristen is just so fed up with Bethany's shit that it doesn't even bother her anymore. She's just like, yeah, right. okay, Bethany, like, you're fine. But I was admittedly very confused when Bethy started, like, with the paper like right. was she trying i don't know and it just kills me like okay so play more of the video this is also the video where kristen is talking about a billboard that she saw that says it's not gonna lick itself and now everybody's like made a meme <clears throat> out of it but also not too far away Dallas, but Texas. just watch bethany um, the watch bethany while the two of them talk it was in the news a lot so you probably heard about it but there was a big drag show and it was literally titled drag the kids to pride a family-friendly drag show that's how it was advertised and basically they were saying this is the ultimate family-friendly drag show come bring your family bring your little kids we're gonna have drag performers in a nightclub, by the yeah. way, um, you know, if there's going to be dancing and they even in said, in fact, we're going to have five spots open for kids to join the stage to dance with the drag performers. And it's going to be this wonderful family friendly night. You know, let's go. And in fact, when I saw some articles and some videos about this yeah. event, there was a huge neon sign in the background that literally said it's not going to lick itself. We don't need to. There it is, anymore. everyone. <laughs> it's not going to lick itself. I don't know if that's how that goes. I'm pretty sure it goes differently. Also, it's Ugh. not. I'm pretty sure it's. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't gonna lick itself. She added some contextual information. I know. Okay, so anyway, there's just a fun little thing for you. My hair's a mess. Sorry now. to anybody that has From to share blanket. a state with these. R.I.P. to Amy. Yeah, I'm sorry. With these two. These sorry. two are are the worst. But not that the rest of their family is like any entirely better. too much better, but. You know, 
Well, we wish Bethany a speedy recovery <laughs> from not only her physical wounds, but uh, the emotional ones that came with that little incident. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next, should we talk about the cookie situation? You're really edging people. I want to edge people. We're going to be talk. we'll talk about our little bit with, uh, with Ruby, eight passengers, Ruby and Jody in a minute here, but I wanted to, uh, to hit on some of these smaller stories first. Let's get this link up in here. Okay, so this one is a TikTok. Do we know if... Pause the... it first. It is copyrighted audio. Hold on, I'll be able audio. to hear it. It is. It's... Okay. The uh, the audio is not... So, pause it real quick. ...friendly, but... Okay, so we need to catch people up to speed on the cookie drama, okay? So, if you didn't know, there are... Crumble is a cookie company in Utah. It is owned by Mormons. It has like hundreds of franchises over the United States. So they are not a small company. But basically, they have decided that they invented the cookie and everybody else <laughs> is copying them. Yes. The cookie that you're thinking of, the one that's like round, sometimes it has like chocolate chips or raisins or any things like that. And yeah. they invented the cookie. Yep. Everybody. Rectangular they also, boxes. They put them in the boxes. Crumble. That is intellectual property that is exclusively reserved for Crumble Cookies Incorporated or whatever the fuck, LLC, whatever they do. I don't know. Who knows? So basically, Crumble, big Mormon mega company, is feuding with another um, cookie company that I'm also pretty sure was started here in Utah and it's probably two likely owned two of them. Yeah. But there's one in particular that's getting feisty back and they are called Dirty Dough. Dirty Dough. I'm not making this up. This sounds like a fever dream, but I am not making it's, this up. It sounds up. <laughs> like the the dispensary version of Crumble Cookies. It really does. It does. So, Which is a good thing. That is the, the better thing. It's true. But basically, they're feuding now, and Crumble is saying that they allegedly other com like other cookie companies stole like training videos and recipes and like ideas and things and you know, IP stuff. So they're they're fighting. So we covered a video that Dirty Dough put out last week where Dirty Dough like basically fucking wiped the floor with Crumble. Um, it was fun. Like obviously. If enough people you know, want to see it, we can play it again. It's all but. based around consuming, which is like, you know, kind of the lowest form of entertainment. But it was funny. It was like it was funny. like Super Bowl commercial level entertaining. It really was. I mean, and it was really well done, too. So there, we played it on our most recent live. Um, yeah, if you want to go watch the last stream. But if there's enough check people who haven't seen it, we can rewatch it. Yeah. If we anyway. Are, if everybody is pining for that, then let then us know and we it. can watch it. But essentially, that's what's happening. And so there are a lot of eyes on Crumble in the Crumble universe right now. <laughs> the Crumble cookie verse. <laughs> in the Crumble cookie verse right now. And so everybody's like, there's some, there's some stress going on. It is like, it is high intensity going on. So now this video got recorded by somebody and posted on TikTok. And you'll see on this TikTok, it has 708,000 likes, which means as far as views goes, it's probably up in the millions. But let's play this for you so you can see. Sounds like we want to play it again, which we can do. But let's okay. watch this TikTok first. Let's watch first. this first and then we'll watch those. Did you catch that? So there's no audio on that? this because it's copyrighted, but it's not really necessary anyway. But play it again. Let's play it one more time. TikTokers, you have to come over to YouTube so you can see it. Yeah, you'll have to see it over here. So what did you see? What do we see? Aw, snap. Oh, oh no. Sorry, TikTok. Sorry, TikTok. Oh, snap. <laughs> so basically what's happening is Crumble got busted using Betty Crocker cake mix when they're trying to be like the most we pretentious. own the cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Which I watched a TikTok from a woman who owns a baking shop. I think her, 
I think her name's Chloe. She has a lot of TikTok followers, but she makes a bunch of cookies and she's like, realistically, it's not really like if you're trying to make a cookie that is cake based, like it's not really like that big of a deal to want to use like cookie mix, like pre-made cookie mix because, you know, it just is what it is. But given the context yeah. of the situation, it is just absolutely exactly. hilarious to me because they're trying to act like they're so original. Yeah. That's like, that'd be like, oh, you can't, you are you run a restaurant or a bakery and you don't, you use jar peanut butter? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, obviously that is fine. <laughs> Using pre-made other ingredients that aren't like your bread and butter, or even if it is, honestly, if you're putting in the labor, you, I, you have the right to sell it in my opinion. Anyway. Um, Chloe but, from Bluff Cakes. Yes, that's who I'm talking about. There you go. So she was like, it's not really, you know, supply chain shortages and it's really not that big of a deal, which I'm like, yeah, it's totally not. Like, it's I not. wouldn't care, but. It's the optics. It's you're the pretentious here, cookie people. Yeah, you're out here and you're like, fuck dirty dough. We're suing the shit out of them. And there's nothing that they can do about it because these is, this is our ideas. These are our processes, which I mean processes what are they out here doing the uh, the recipes like you're wow not to use these recipes or what? jen throwing down the top secret info they actually have a regular base mix and then they add oh. extra stuff for flavor uh -oh. oh snap oh, so jen I who they stole that from huh which interesting that's why they're so pissed about it didn't they make a statement about it will you look it up because i'm pretty sure the crumble guy i heard a rumor that he was like trying to sue the person that posted the tiktok Oh, I think they sent them a cease and desist. They did. And they wouldn't tell us what was in them. Like it was a white bag with a logo on it that said secret ingredients or whatever. And someone would ask about Sus. allergens and I couldn't answer. Oh, that's crazy. Let's see down here. We've been bamboozled. I hate when they like, th oh, here we go. Cookies. The cookie company's co-founder, Jason McGowan, posted a statement on his LinkedIn page. What the fuck's going there? Uh, regarding the business's decision to sue both Crave and Dirty Dough. While we have remained silent as the process moves through appropriate legal channels, the defendants what? have taken to social media to spread misinformation and garner public sentiment. The defendants both formed business copy. Oh, is this about the fucking... That's lawsuit. the lawsuit in general. Okay. Does he have anything about that? Let's see. Well, there you go. I was like, does this guy, is this guy like a, the cookie Donald Trump where he's just denying that sometimes I thought there was something like that. Maybe I'm down? just, maybe I'm just imagining things. But again, people are like, it's not that big of a deal. And I'm like, I agree. Like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't give the smallest shit, but these people are you know, trying to be yeah, pretentious just, assholes. So it's just the optics. It's just so funny that they're like being so hard on other people when, I mean, Betty Crocker, let's get out there. Sue, sue the shit out of these guys because you own the intellectual property of cake mix. Obviously not, no other brand is out there that did cake mix. It's true. Um, let me look up the Rebecca. The we have dough. talked about blankets and our new membership option that's yes. on patreon if you would like to uh use that on youtube and now we are talking about crumble cookie drama and we are about to watch the hilarious video let's just watch the shorter one not that one that one sucks this one's good what are you talking about that one sucks go to the other one rude this one's better okay it's only two it's minutes longer though i'm lazy Okay, so we're going to rewatch it again. Apparently, Emily D. Baker has a video about it, which is awesome. So go check that out. Shout out to Emily. <laughs> there are two things that I believe in as an American. One, the free market. Two, suing the pants off of anyone else who makes cookies. Sit down. Gone chair. On it. <laughs> Somebody's playing dirty. 
Don Mitchell, why don't you tell them what's going on? Dirty Dough has the audacity to sell cookies that are obviously much better than our cookies. Yeah. Not better. Not better. Not better. Mm. They're not better. Absolutely. They're not much better. They're a little bit better. They're not better. <laughs> They're terrible. They're terrible. They're terrible. <laughs> See, Don gets it. The rest of you get it. Write it down. Write this down. Where's my attorney? I'm right here. I've always been right here. Fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, that I have found four points of egress with which to sue the pants off of Dirty Dough as an organization. We have everything we need to absolutely destroy Dirty Dough. <laughs> Number one. Uh, they're using sprinkles. That's a lawsuit. Look at this. You see those sprinkles on that thing, huh? That's a lawsuit. Lawsuit! Number two. They're putting their cookies in rectangular boxes. And while they might argue that all boxes are rectangular in nature, they are not like our rectangular boxes. Number three. They, they have a rotating menu? There are people out there that are saying that uh, we're not the first ones to do that, that maybe we stole the idea from Chip, and uh, yeah. <sighs> But that I say we change the subject. Candice, listen, can we get uh, two dozen? Make that ten dozen chocolate chip cookies from uh, Dirty Dough? Yeah, just for research purposes, yeah. See you at the family reunion. Number four. Using these charming whimsical designs. Whimsical cookie theme design! Whimsy is copyrighted by Big Cookie Company. Am I correct, ladies and gentlemen? We're the first ones to have come up with all of this stuff. You were the genius, boss. You were, <laughs> you were the genius. Okay, that was good. That was good the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Dallas Cowboys of cookies. We are America's cookie, all right? We're the big farmer of cookie. We are the Chips Ahoy of cookie. We are too big to fail. So who else can we sue? My grandma makes cookies. <gasps> Yeah. And she's loaded. She's loaded! <laughs> uh, Mr. Attorney? Yeah. Can we do this? I want to sue my own mother because we share the same last name. I'm pretty sure we can sue over sprinkles. I love it. Do you worst. By that, I mean you best. Done. Let's get him! <laughs> Freaking amazing, so honestly. I didn't catch the nepotism bit. The first I didn't time either. The, the, par, the family the part reunion. Where, yeah, he's like, I'll see you at the family reunion. Because, I mean, Jen said exactly that. Jen, come come through in the comments here for me. Um, you said that there was a lot of nepotism and basically all of the management was, like, related to him. Um, people are saying that Emily D. Baker, we don't watch her stuff. Um, I just know of her because people have said that she does legal stuff. Somebody said that she, like, victim blamed Brianna Taylor, which is just like oh, a yeah, gross fucking fuck, thing to do. Her. Okay. So no, we're not doing that. But never mind, we're over that. I don't really know much about her. I just know that she covers like legal stuff, like the I think she did some stuff on Britney Dawn and things, but neither here nor there. Anyway. Anywho Nepotism was the business model. <laughs> that is how really a lot of businesses function. Especially here in Utah. out here, because I mean like everybody has a lot of family and there's a lot of kids, so it's just easy to do that. Well, and the ones that are, like, Mormon-owned especially, like, it's very much, like, connection. Like, there was one person in our ward growing up who owned a Chick-fil-A franchise, and every, Dude, every fucking Mormon teenager the worked there. Worked there. <laughs> so, that's just kind of the name of the game. Emily D. Baker is a Keemstar fan? Dude, okay, yeah. Ew. That, that tells you all you need to know. Ew. How can you be a fan of law and then be a fan of a guy who literally bullied a mentally like unstable person into commit uh, to dying by suicide? Honestly, nah, <laughs> not a fan of that. I don't right. know. Obviously, there's two sides to every story, and we're going off literally what you guys are telling us yeah. right now, but. I can't get over the Keemstar thing, so I'm sorry. Um, that, that's a more that that is a pretty <laughs> sure show of character. She's so. not a Keem fan. Oh Who my god, you guys are confusing me. <laughs> Who's saying this? <laughs> oh god. Okay. You can order dirty dough online nationwide now. Oh, interesting. Is she a fupa troopa? Yeah, I'm learning a lot of new things about Emily today. 
So <laughs> maybe everybody else needs to do some learning too, because apparently <laughs> the, the accusations are flying here. Jeez, <laughs> I thought I could trust y'all. What is going uh, on? Here? It's okay. Everybody has their opinion on things, and that's fine. I'm sure she's a but if nice you, person. If you do watch Keemstar and you think he's great, you do not have a single valid opinion. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> how it is. <laughs> Uh, Keemstar is a drama He's channel alert, yeah. on YouTube. He runs Drama Alert, and he is truly scum of YouTube. Um, what am I looking for here? Any other updates on Emily D. Baker? Does anybody have another thing to throw out there about her? Gosh, yeah, I'm just hella confused. Anyway, what are we drinking? I'm drinking Arizona, uh, with lemon. And Jordan is drinking. Oh, so Dr. she Pepper. covered. She talked. Oh my God! Oh, no. We just dropped TikTok. She covered what? Keemstar is terrible. It sounds like she covered Keemstar's case, which makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah. How does Leafy get banned and Keemstar doesn't? That's the real question. We just got deep into YouTube lore know, there, so we're, we're gonna. If you're not a YouTube person, then we're you're gonna just resurface. Crash course on some of the worst. The worst. <laughs> Um, Deaf Noodles. Oh man, he's he's. I don't know what's going on with him, but I wish somebody would get him off the internet. Yeah, someone's got to rein that guy in. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm glad to hear that she didn't victim blame anyone. That's yeah, that's encouraging. So Everybody, get your facts straight because we're just going off of your word. I trusted <laughs> you, and now um, that trust has been broken. I get the interpretation. At least for a little bit. Is you know, I get it. All right, let's hop in to... Okay, everybody is talking Ruby Doo. What everybody wants to hear. The edging stops here, y'all. All right. Do you want to set this up with some context, Joe? Yes, I do. Thank you, Jen. I love you. This is good information to know. Um, let's talk about Ruby and it's going to take me five seconds to screw up their names again. So if you're not from around here, I confuse them all the time and it turns into like Joby and like Juby and Robbie and Roby and, Roby and Juby. And yeah, it just, you know, it's just kind of chaotic. So basically, we have, if you are new here, we have Ruby Frankie, who is the brains behind the Eight Passengers Mormon Vlogger operation. Millions of subscribers made millions off of YouTube and made millions off exploiting her children and being extra, extra Mormon. Okay, so we've got, that's, that's Ruby. Okay, that's Ruby. And she has a husband named Kevin and she has kids who like basically are probably little prisoners because she's so terrible. And then allegedly, allegedly. And then she has one old daughter in college named Sherry. And so that, that's the gist. Okay. So then we have Jody, who is a pseudo therapist um, a licensed therapist. A who, licensed therapist who practices under the guise of not being a therapist and being a coach. So she does not have to be held to any ethical standards. Um, she has had her license put on probation before for disclosing information that the client did not give her permission to disclose to a Mormon bishop for punishment. Which, if you are not aware, is 10,000 times against ethics law, social work, counseling, like no matter how you dice it, that's just, that's just what it is. Okay. So she is not a good person in my opinion for a myriad of reasons, but these two got together. They've started this little Jody had already had this thing. It's called connections. We think it's a cult. We have a video on that. Coaching. Um, but it's basically a coaching group and they do like zoom calls and like educating events and they do like, they have a Facebook group with almost 10,000 people in there, which I think 90% of those people are snarkers, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, so that's just, you know, that, that's just kind of the gist. So Ruby has joined this weird thing 
And we made a video about connections and basically said it has a lot of the characteristics of what a cult would be according to the Byte model, which kind of looks at high demand religion groups and other organizations to see if it has cult-like tactics, which it does. And we have a whole video on that if you need to be caught up. But now there's lots of drama because supposedly Ruby and her husband Kevin aren't talking anymore, supposedly. And then we have confirmed from the 8 Passenger Snark subreddit that a confirmed by a mod source has come forward and said that their oldest son, Chad, who is a senior in high school, is currently not living in their home anymore, which presumably means that her husband is probably not either. That's kind of where I was going with that. But yeah. we at least know for sure that Chad is not. So. Well, somebody said that the the app, the directory app, whatever the fuck they call it nowadays. Oh, yeah. I did um, see that. Ruby is listed by herself now as the only as the only person that lives in that ward and her spouse isn't which is usually like tethered when you're married in the little mormon directory thing for your locality um you're it's just a profile and you and your spouse share one but it's just her now so so that sets that, off that vibes implies too. that he had his records moved so he to would another be ward. yeah he would be far enough away that he wouldn't be in the same ward um so that's just kind of like, you know, alleged putting pieces together. Somebody came forward with enough evidence that the mods were like, this has been confirmed without like giving out that person's information. A ward is like a congregation in your area. So every Sunday, a Mormon attends a ward. Yeah. It's like you go, every person that goes to a church building, they're in a particular ward. Usually there's a couple wards per chapel, church mm -hmm. building. So Yes. So we made that video about connections a little like bit a ago, ago, a little bit ago, and Ruby and Jody talk shit about everything and every th like not like calling people out specifically, but just like fucking hating on people and being absolutely insane and irate about everything. And so somebody in the subreddit posted a clip from this video that we're about to show you. And said, this sounds like they're calling out Jordan and McKay. Gasp. If you haven't seen that video after this live stream or whenever you get the time, go and check it out because it'll give you a little more context. So those of you who have already seen that video, you will already kind of know the context that we're talking about. So basically, they do not call us out by name. Okay. But... Lean closer to the mic. Okay, I see you're that. so quiet. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm also um, talking kind of quiet. So, so they didn't call us out by name. Okay, but it. I mean, it sounds like <laughs> it's that's okay. Who they're talking? Okay, about. when you watch this clip, that let's you're, just watch it. No, 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 no. The part that they need to pay attention to. <laughs> look at the stock images that come up. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's messaging. Subliminal. Subliminal messaging. Loving you either. Uh, we watched a video a minute ago on YouTube, and there were a few people who were being very aggressive. Um, they were being foul-mouthed, and they were very angry, and it was blaming <laughs> anger. It wasn't truthful anger. It was, you're doing this to me, and you're doing this to other people, and how dare you do that? And it was very clear that they were in this distorted position. And then after they spewed that for like, I don't know, a half hour. It was like over an hour, by the way. <laughs> That's probably all they got through because they couldn't do I it anymore. I mean, I was feeling sick just listening to them. And then they said, love you guys. <laughs> just like No, that had to, they had to have watched the whole thing. They wouldn't have seen that. Yeah, and I was like, well, the whole video was just... Like, they looked bored out of their minds. I said, did they roll out of bed and make this video? Because yeah, they kind of look like it. And, and their tone was down. And then at the very end, they perked up and like, well, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And we love you. And I'm like, okay, there's manipulation right there. there. They knew the right words to say. They knew yeah. to wake up their faces and get bright. And it was, it was not sincere. You cannot <laughs> compartmentalize love. You cannot say, I love you. And then turn around and hate you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> if 
Fucking watch me, Ruby. I will do that all I fucking please. Okay, so here's how I know I'm pretty sure they're talking about us because people were like, well, what if they're talking about, you know, this other person? During this whole segment, she basically refers to people as they. And then especially towards the end when she's like, I was watching their faces, plural. Yeah. And so I'm like 90% confident they were talking about us because there's two of us here talking about it. We have a really long video. Yeah. Anybody in that subreddit, let us know if you know of anybody else who has really done a lot of talking. That's a pair. Yeah. I would love to know. Like some people said Marky, but they're one Mark, person yeah, as Marcus far as I know. Um, so I they're using pronouns. Uh oh. Pronouns. Jody and Ruby, you are in distortion. I honestly play the part where Ruby's talking again. I forget what she says. Also, this People guy has long hair. It's very targeted at you. Is this? It is. I, I feel targeted, honestly. She said we're His boring. His locks are not nearly as good as mine. She says we're boring. Somebody mentioned on that. Um, we're bored. On the thread on Reddit with this post, somebody was like, well, it sounds like Jordan and McKay because they're not like high energy YouTubers. And like, That's I don't think I don't think I'm really offended by that because I, I don't know. I'm more offended by this comment. What's with the evangelist mics? Excuse me. No, this is them. the sure. Oh, them. Oh, yeah. OK. I was like, this is the sure SM7B. This is like the no. most popular. It's the Britney Spears. Okay. Mic, yeah, Nicole. Totally. Yes, you're right. I was I was really. Also, is I that why they picked right this? There. Were we matching in that video? Were we? Wow, did they really go no, the extra to... mile? Were we matching in that video? I don't think we were. I we don't, don't match we very either. often. It's usually like when we I don't know. Some merch that if we both get like the same thing. Black though, we do. No, yeah. we were both wearing gray. Were we? Oh wow! Wait, what are we matching? What? What are we matching to? These two people are matching. Subliminal. We were both wearing gray in that video. Dude, wow. it is raining hard as shit right now. Hi, Amy. Come to YouTube. Come to YouTube. I We'd love to have you. It is very much raining right now. But this is like intense. Yeah. We were matching clothes at the time. Like we were wearing the same color. Right. And this guy's tall and she's short. I don't know. I don't know. It it's seems like they paid for this stock footage. You know? Yeah. Like they did. Tax write-off. Did we want to watch Ruby's bit again? Yes, I want to. That's what I want to see. Give it to me. Truthful anger. It was, you're doing this to me, and you're doing this to other people, and how dare you do that? And it how was very clear you? that they were in this distorted position. And then yeah, after they distorted. spewed that for like, I don't know, a half Maybe. hour, I mean, I was feeling sick just listening to them. And then they said, love you guys. <laughs> just like that. And I was like. Well, the whole video was just. Like, I just want to pause it. Open the window. No, that'll be definitely too loud. You guys might be able to hear a little static in the background. And that is actually rain, which is a sight for sore fucking eyes. It never rains here anymore. You. Um, It's the distortion thing for me. And they're like, they're sitting here and saying, you can't do this and you can't do that. And I'm like, no, I'm literally Watch calling me. out you for being fucking stupid. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. It, it, just... Think about this for a second uh, and compartmentalize <laughs> your connections thinking. Why were we so glum and bored talking about Jody and Ruby and your guys' shit? And then we perked up when we were talking about our audience. Probably because we don't like you <laughs> and the people that are here with us, we do like. So And they don't like you either. Sorry. But also this Mormon outfit on the left here, my God. I have never seen something more Relief Society president in my entire not, not life. Not just Relief Society. 2010 Relief Society president. Also, a lot of people have been commenting on the position of the plant. Um in all the videos, there's a plant like literally directly in front of Ruby. And it's just like in a really weird spot. And everybody's freaking out about the fact that she's not wearing her wedding ring. I looked back at a few of the videos, like even when her and Kevin were like posting Instagram pictures together, she wasn't wearing the wedding ring then either. 
So I hesitate to rely on a wedding ring as like a thing of whether or not people yeah. are still engaged or married or whatever. Cause like, I didn't wear mine for a year. Longer than that. Two years. You haven't been wearing your, re you weren't re wearing it for, well, a year I guess while we were years. doing this. No, three. Three? Since you got pregnant. Jesus. Yeah. Jordan so, was for a long time. I, and I don't care, honestly. F in the chat for Ruby's dress. Yeah. Everybody uh, throw an F in the chat. Ruby, I hope you're watching this. You know, they are so, their garmies are riding so far up their butts right now. For real. It's not even funny. F in the chat. But basically, I think this is absolute nonsense. And it's so funny to me that Joby, Ruby. <laughs> Joby. <laughs> it's, it's just so weird. The plant placement is confusing to me. And I want, yeah. I want everybody on to be able to see the chat. F's in the chat. Yeah, throw those F's up, baby. F's in, F it. for frumpy. Hell yeah, look at those Everybody F's. Everybody on TikTok, come check out YouTube. Come to the YouTube. Jordan and we McKay. We really need to learn how to pin a fucking comment because this is probably annoying for everybody else. Do we want to watch this um, this clip again of Ruby? Um, Ruby? Yeah, just finish it out. Let's finish it out. We'll go back. Yeah, if you're on TikTok, you want to come over to YouTube. That way you can see what we're seeing. Our channel is Jordan and McKay. They looked bored out of their minds. I said, did they roll out of bed and make this video? Because they kind of look like it. And, and their tone was down. And then Boy, at the very end, they perked up and like, well, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And we love you. And I'm like, okay, there's manipulation right there. They knew the right words to say. You heard it here first, everyone. If you subscribe to us, or even worse, if you're a patron or you've ever bought any of our merch, I'm sorry, we manipulated you into doing that. I just, it, it is coming from like the queen of hypocrisy herself. Dude, Because right. she literally has a YouTube channel where she exploited her kids for millions, millions of dollars, no doubt, off of YouTube. And so for her to like be pandering about, you know, the manipulation, the nah, 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 yeah. I'm like, okay, Ruby, like, okay. That's great. Good for you. Remove Seriously. the Mormon Moroni stick from up your ass, please. Mormon Thank you. Trumpet. So I don't, I'm pretty confident that they were talking about us and it makes me laugh because that means that they watched our video and it means that they watched our ads, which also makes me laugh. Let's fucking go. So give me your Mormon tithing money. Give it to me. No, it's already, already been tithed on or should have been. That's true. Already. Tithe extra. Yeah. Make sure you're paying your full tithe. Pay uh, on the pre-tax money before you have to pay your taxes at the end of the year. And that's the thing. Just vibing in outer darkness. Good point. So Judy screaming about leaving five-star reviews is not manipulation. Judy. <laughs> really, though. Really. Because we watched that in a previous... No, we watched Dude, that in the cult like video. she was fucking crying. She was losing people. her shit. Oh, over those reviews like she was get like they want to they say we're aggressive jesus christ <laughs> she literally said i'm begging you i'm, I'm begging you, you please to leave, leave me reviews. a five star review <laughs> okay <laughs> like, if you two are listening let me give you a little a little tip okay the reason that you're not getting an influx of people that are leaving reviews on your page and you're trying to advertise that in your facebook group is because Nobody in your Facebook group, or at least more than half, are not authentically in there because they want to listen to you. They are in there to yeah. snark on you. So that's the reason that's not happening. Because the people that are in there that you think are just trying to listen to you and what you have to say, no ma'am. I don't understand how th there could be such a disconnect. No ma'am. Like, if, if we had a bunch of views and zero subscribers, I'd be like, Okay, I don't think the people like us. I think they might just be here for the fucking show. I mean, like, where, how far gone do you have to be in order to not, like, take the fucking hint? Yeah. Well, and there's plenty of people in here. I infiltrated the group. I know there's, like, a, a great amount of people in the uh, snark subreddit that are in that Facebook group, too. Like, it's, 
you just know. But these two are not only, I mean, distortion and delusion. Like, I think they're just in delusion. But you heard it here first. Jody and Ruby have confirmed that we are officially living in distortion. And honestly, it surprises me that they even watched our channel at all. Yeah. Because if they took one look at what we do, they would probably, like, <laughs> run screaming away. So I, th I think the best thing to think about is... Why did they end up watching our channel, our video about them? Did somebody it's a send really it to good them? Question. Or did they do the dumb thing of searching their names on the internet and seeing what came up? They're definitely, I mean, in the, in the grand scheme of things, our videos that we've made about them aren't even close to like the most popular videos. Like I know Marky has made like a couple videos like within the last few weeks that have gotten a bunch of traction. I know she's like- Boxy, I see you. She's caught the eye of like some people, um, like some drama channel people additionally. T channels. So yeah, T channels and things and it's all over TikTok. And so by all means, we are not like the only people talking about this. So uh, to me, it just seems bizarre that we wa they watched ours. But I think it's because we talked about connections directly and took less of an eight passengers approach and called out both her and Jody. When in reality, like when you look at the eight passengers thumbnails, like right now, 90% of the time, like for other videos, it's just Ruby. Yeah. And so it might have no, piqued Jody, Jody's interest because she was in it. Yeah, it could have been. And and Jody is, I, I would say by a lot of degrees worse than, than Ruby is, in my opinion. Because a lot of the problems that Ruby had with her family, and I'm not saying like correlation is causation, but a lot of them started when Ruby was getting really involved with with uh, Jody and the, the connections coaching bullshit. So uh, definitely doesn't absolve Kevin now that he is kind of making amends with the rest of the, the family. Doesn't absolve him of the shit that he's done, but definitely our hearts go out to that guy for getting away from Ruby because, wow, she has really gone off the rails. For real. And I, yeah, I just hope they're in a better space. I don't know. It, this is a weird, weird thing. We need to make I'm in distortion t-shirts. Dude, I was about to suggest that. We really need Living to. Living in distortion or something like that. Yes. Yes. And I like fucking Jordan love McCann that. Back. Yes. That'd be sick. Let's do hats. This comes from Teespring. And now I was a little skeptical about doing beanies, can but it's it? embroidered. It's fucking sick. So... Cappy. I don't Capybara. know if you can see that unless I like tilt my yeah, head it's in a little, the light. Oh, right there. That looks good. Yeah. Loving that. Anyway. Yes, there's lots of people that theorize that, that these two might be extra friendly. Now, I do not like to speculate on people's sexuality, but these two make it they really hard not mm -hmm. to. Okay, just really hard not to. It is absolutely suspect and completely, you know, not politically correct on my end. But there are just some photos of them, like the picture of them on the rock. And Jody is getting, like, very touchy with Ruby. Like, she'll often, like, touch her hand and stuff or, like, will touch know. her knee during videos and things. And I'm like... As a, as a, a contrast to that point, that's how my best friend and I act. That's true. That's um, true. But that, that's not weird for me. It is a little weird for people who think that um, being in a non-heterosexual relationship with a non-cisgender person of any in any way, shape, or form is living in distortion. So it is a little odd. Somebody asked what I'm hiding in my hat. Because it's new, it's <laughs> shaped weird. So it kind of... These hats look like condoms to me. <laughs> And she's got a small noggin. And I have a small See, if I head. put it on my... I don't want to fuck up your hair. You're going to fuck up my hair. I won't do that. I won't do that. I don't know Love how to make it much. look worse. <laughs> okay. That's like... Just don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Someone on TikTok said, heard touchy with Ruby and knew who we were talking about instantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am not trying to speculate, okay? I am a bisexual human being, and I pick up on some of these things and notice them sometimes. So I'm... I'm the Void. I'm just pointing it out. Shout out for the, the super Thank chat. You, we got another super chat void. a while ago. 
that we didn't call out. We should probably uh, go back up here and say, sorry about that. I just noticed it. We have too many Fs. I can't go back all the way. <laughs> I could probably look at it and uh, get an studio. Ethan Klein beanie that's three feet long. Literally, that's kind of what I feel like I'm going for know, at this right? point. Let's look here. What did the super chats look like in here? Cappy Crown. Dizzy. I love that. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with Jody. My, like Jen said, my gaydar is like going off a little bit between these two. There's clearly tension and things going on between her and Kevin. And they actually, when Ruby started connecting with Jody, like in this whole little stupid group, um, you know, <laughs> they were already talking about having marriage problems in the sexual area. The sexual area. In the sexual arena, something along the lines of, and I'm not pulling this out here to be mean, okay? I'm putting this out there because they fucking put it on the internet. And when you do that, then that's on you. Um, but it was something along the lines of Ruby wasn't able to, like, sexually satisfy... Um, Kevin or like their intimacy, like she wasn't doing enough or doing it enough or something. I don't know. So it, it was already in a place. So Jody was probably aware of some information at least anyway. Yeah, probably. So, you know, there's vibes. There's, there's vibes. There's definitely something off. There's the rock picture. I just pull up the rock picture. You're going to need to be a little more specific. Than Google that. connections. <laughs> it's like the first thing that comes up. On connections classroom? No, just look Google connections and it'll come up in their reviews. <clears throat> Why would they share that? Honestly, I don't know. We are unsure. That Can is not. Go to, images? No. Nope. go to connections coaching. You have to type that in. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan. I'm sorry. I want people to see this picture, okay? Connections coaching. This one. The this, rock picture. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring this over. Everyone here. knows about the rock picture. Apparently. If you're on TikTok, come over to YouTube and you can see the rock picture. Yes, please do. Okay, look at this. Look at this. God damn you, Google. I mean, if you had zero context oh, of these two individuals. Use their controls. Oh, there you go. There you go. Check look it out. Look at the placement. Check that out right there. Also, those shorts look a little... I don't see Garmies under there. That is not... They are doing exercise, Jordan. You cannot hate. That's true. Just kidding. That's true. But that picture, I mean, come on, you guys. If you saw this out of context, what would, what would the connection be here? That knee grab is aggressive. See? Okay. Hey, I would even go as far as to say they're using subliminal messaging referring to us in their video. It's all about messaging. All about communication. A nice gay couple on vacation. Without words. Middle-aged Subaru lesbians. Fuck yeah. We love a good <laughs> forester, dude. Someone thought I was talking about The Rock as in like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. No, I'm sorry. Can we get somebody to Photoshop uh, Ruby and Jody, but they're on uh, the rock's face right here at the bottom here. Anybody Nicole, who's good, nice. post it to the r slash uh, a passenger subreddit. We don't want to take credit for it. You can take credit for it, whoever does it. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's happening. I am I am blessed beyond measure to be officially called out by the queens that we are in distortion. The queens. And so we're going to gaydar emphasis. I would say the intended. witches, but in my mind, that's, that's a compliment. Offensive. It's a compliment now. It's offensive to, to say that they're witch. witches because witches are way cooler than them. Yeah, that is offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, they're saying homophobic shit all the time still. They're saying crazy shit all the time. They went on a rant about like sleepovers, I think, this last week about sleepovers being a distortion. I well, I, mean, I have my own opinions on yeah, sleepovers we've, we've just opinions from like that. a therapist intern personal abuse standpoint. Um, but to say that like just in general, like if it was like even with a cousin or something, like family members that you know, like to be like, it's a distortion. Really like 
okay, just let do kids really be know? kids and do their thing, okay? Yeah. Anyway. Anyhow. Our, <laughs> our next topic came to me, okay? I, like I was, okay, I was just scrolling on Reddit. Hello, friends hopping over from do TikTok. At the end of the night, when our son has allowed us to rest. Yes. So I I am drinking Dr. Pepper per usual. I found this in the subreddit. This is horrifying to me. So I'm going to play it for you. We have talked about Paul and Morgan before. They A lot. always All say the racist shit. I think we have three videos where we've called them out. Like when we first started on YouTube and more recently on racist shit. So, but here's the difference between what we're about to watch and that is this is very obvious racism, like to the point where people in their like live comment section were calling them out and being like, which I mean, what if, the fuck? If those people are coming out of the woodwork and saying this is racist after all of the other racist shit that they've said just in the past year alone, this like, is bad. Oh, I guess it must be bad, even though comparatively in my opinion this is less compared to the other videos that we've uh, reacted to from them in my opinion i guess yeah maybe yeah i feel like i'm behind the scenes you're behind the scenes <laughs> join are. us on youtube <laughs> um we get i get my dr pepper from mcdonald's because mcdonald's has the best dr pepper it's also the cheapest it's also the cheapest big a on dollar and eight cents the cheapest poison around baby Okay. Anyway, Morgan is also due any day now. Longest pregnancy in the history of 50,000 years. Maybe, well, Trisha, I always, I also feel like has been pregnant for 5,000 years. Yeah. And I'm just waiting patiently. I agree. She has gone past her due date, which I must commend her in that area for she is like well past her due date. I got induced at 39 weeks. Because I literally could not take one more fucking goddamn Lord Jesus Christ in heaven second of being pregnant. <laughs> I could not tolerate one single more second of that. I was so miserable at the end. And that's what she's saying she is too. She's been saying she's miserable based on what I'm seeing in the subreddit. So it sounds like she is on the struggle bus at the end. And the end of pregnancy fucking sucks. I mean, everything is terrible. You feel like a beached whale. Like everything I is just awful. I felt so bad. Well, especially for you, because you, you gained a ton of weight. And I did. It just, well, that on top of like every fucking problem that you could have during pregnancy, except for like preeclampsia. Yeah, I <laughs> literally had else, everything go wrong. Everything else was just fucking awful for Jordan. So. And thank God I didn't have twins. Can I... we get Fs in the chat for Jordan's pregnancy <laughs> experience? <laughs> I don't know if that even encompasses it. Um, anyway, so she's due, she was due like yesterday or the day before, um, which again, that's a feat truly, I believe, but she's not gonna, at least at this point, it sounds like get induced and they're just waiting for it to naturally happen because she wants to have a home birth. So I, <laughs> what was that one, uh, Disney channel show? Good luck, Charlie. Or something. <laughs> I wish her a safe pregnancy, is, but a healthy baby. I'm sure it's inutterable. <laughs> I hope they have a good experience because I don't wish ill on a lot of people. Okay. Maybe some, but not all. I hope they have a healthy, safe experience, but that does not we mean hope their child. What the fuck? Why did that just peak this shit? I hope everybody's ears are okay. I, I hope their child is okay. That's the best I can wish. Yes. We hope that they have a healthy safe child. delivery, a healthy Morgan, healthy baby, like whatever. Yeah. But that does not mean that I cannot fucking slam you for stupid ass shit. Yeah, you shit. can get slammed while Hi, you're pregnant. Hi, chaotic dad 42. Come to YouTube. We miss <laughs> you, you too. Back. Everybody wave. <laughs> We're all going to wave at each other. So just wave real quick. That way nobody feels dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this is not ideal. Um I, we're just going to play it because I don't Did you I mention to... uh, they did this and then after the fact, they removed it from yes. YouTube? So, it was on a live stream. Correct. And the difference with this, I feel like, is generally when people have called them out for being racist, and that includes a variety of people, us, Jen, other accounts, like they don't ever do anything about it. If anything, they don't even usually acknowledge it. 
Shout out to this user, DJ Ghetto Steve, on r slash uh, Funny Snark Uncensored. Uh, Why is our connection this. ball sack? Boo hockey. What's going on with our connection? It was like... I got a green block for a second. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. What's happening? Oh, shit. Boo hockey. Are we okay now? We're waiting. Oh, it's kind of varying. I hope it's not the... We're being attacked. It might be the storm outside. We're Fucking being attacked. Stuff. Hopefully it's better. I'm just going to wait it out for a minute or two to see if it uh, evens out. The stream is in distortion. Ah, no. we're red. Oh. <sighs> Love this for me. Why must this happen? Outer darkness and distorted. That's a double rip. Oh, our audio is fine, apparently. <laughs> audio. <laughs> it might it might be the storm. I don't know. It's been... Oh. Dude, it's Xfinity. Of course it's in distortion. <sighs> is is Do things kind of seem stable enough to watch? I don't want to like play this and it, have it be like super choppy and stuff like that. So a lot of people are saying it's doing okay. I'm just... I can see the little status sim... The little colored block that shows the status of our stream strength and uh it's like all over the place right now so people seem to be saying okay, it's good cool so. well we will go ahead and do that we'll shout out it. dj ghetto steve again i don't know if they put they might have edited things into here they they did um i well i don't know if that was theirs or if oh. was, they were just posting it secondhand but yeah uh, yeah shout out to the fundy snark uncensored subreddit thoughts on the statement released by the cast from the new lord of the rings show is that show woke so morgan it actually caught me off guard when i saw this <laughs> statement i saw the statement yesterday i believe but i'm not that surprised by it okay. so before we show and i have a picture of the statement yes. that lord of the rings official twitter account lord of the rings rings of power twitter account released we watched the show the morgan and i uh i just want to add in here real quick i am a casual fan of lord of the rings i like the um trilogy a lot uh i've seen the hobbit movies i wasn't crazy about them but i don't i don't read tolkien or anything like that and a lot of the people that i know they were all so skeptical about this show basically for this reason and this reason alone <laughs> so we're pretty excited about it i'm pumped to say that i got morgan to become a lord of the rings fan <laughs> later in her life yes he did Shout out to Michael. Friend Michael, <laughs> we watched it with him, and she is now a fan. So we went into this show excited, but pretty low expectations. So we, before we get into too much of the this official statement, the racial stuff that's causing some of a stir, Morgan, overall thoughts on the first two episodes that have been released as of right now? Uh, I liked them. I don't think that they were like mind blowing. Um, I think that they're pretty slow, but I think obviously they're doing that because they're trying to build up a very large story. Story Putting and a so, lot of pieces together. Yeah, there's a lot of different like side stories I'm sure are all going to come together at some point. At least they better. <laughs> they better. Yeah, but like it, it's... Paul and Morgan wear a lot of different hats. I really didn't expect Film Critic to be one of those hats. <laughs> I didn't either. It sounds like, it looks like things might be a little. Are we a little rocky? We had a lot of people drop off all of a sudden. What happened? Okay, paso. I feel like this happens to us every time we stream. It doesn't actually. It hasn't been a while. It's been a while since we've had any issues. I don't feel like that's true though. I don't feel like that's true. I feel like something happened true. last time. I always pay attention to that. <clears throat> you can skip time. forward a little bit because this is a long clip. Definitely an enjoyable show. I enjoyed watching it. Really? I felt like that was a little harsh. <laughs> but yeah, when I, we went in with pretty low expectations in the sense of the original trilogy is a masterpiece at the very highest level. So of course, it's not, gonna, it's not going to meet that. But then The Hobbit was not in my opinion so amazing wasn't i didn't love the hobbit what 
I probably gave The Hobbit around a 7 out of 10, maybe even a 6.35, where I gave the original yeah. trilogy like a 9.5 out of 10. Wow. That hurt. So when I went into this show, I, I ended up, after the first two episodes, I think I gave it like a 7.5 out of 10. After even more reflection, yeah, sure. I wasn't connecting a ton with any of the characters thus far, so that was a negative of it. And there were some other negatives, but overall, I was pleasantly... I, I, I have no context on that. I feel good about it. Yeah. Overall. Yeah, there's, again, whatever. But then comes the racial stuff. And apparently... Dun, oh, boy. Dun, dun. Here we go. Like, Amazon Prime or whatever, like, held... They wouldn't even allow the movie reviews to be shown because they were getting such an influx of, like, negative reviews. Really? And so then they come out with this statement... And now let's start talking about did it did the show go to woke? Pull up a picture. Shout out Marlena for joining Patreon. Okay. We, the cast of Rings of Power, dun, dun, dun. stand together in absolute solidarity and against the relentless racism, threats, harassment, and abuse some of our castmates of color are being subjected to on a daily basis. We refuse to ignore it or tolerate it. Woo. And then they went on to say, J.R.R. Tolkien created a world which, by definition, is multicultural, a world in which free peoples from different races and cultures join together in fellowship to defeat the forces of evil. Rings of Power reflects that. Our world has never been all white. Fantasy has never been all white. Middle Earth is not all white. B-I-P-O-C belong in Middle Earth, and they are <laughs> he doesn't here know what to that stay. Means. The way he struggled through that acronym. <laughs> B-I-P-O-C. He has no idea what that is. What? Finally, Black all indigenous love... person of color for anybody for the uninitiated. who does not know. Yeah. <clears throat> and fellowship go out to the fans supporting us, especially fans of color who are themselves being attacked simply for existing in this fandom. What? Okay. Okay. I mean, is that shocking at all? Okay, that's uh, okay. Then they say, we see you, your bravery and endless creativity, your cosplays, fan cams, fan art, and insight make this community a richer place and remind us of our purpose. You are valid. You are loved. Starting to get pretty bleh. Come on. Just get. Yes. Saying okay, nice we things get it. You to are black valid. people. Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> Such a what? foreign concept. Blah, 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 blah. Right? I'm not trying to be insensitive, but come on. It sounds. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but come on. So you're not trying, but you are. But you know you I are. Do, I mean, it happens. Just own it. Being a little. Just say it sounds repetitive. Sensitive. You belong. Yeah, you're an inter integral part of the Lord of the Rings family. Thanks for having our backs. In thing. Very interesting. Morgan, I will say, yeah, sure. Like you go back to the original trilogy. Let's see. Second, even if Tolkien had specified that all elves, dwarves, and hobbits were white, it w still wouldn't matter. Adaptations are original cultural reproductions that can imitate, question, rewrite, or interpret source material in various ways. Each adaptation is a new text, and each is an opportunity to update outdated and unacceptable tropes and find ways to represent and normalize non-white characters. Nice. Literally, yeah. elves were white. The that was not put in there by Paul and Morgan. If no, that is not abundantly clear. Uh, dwarves were white. Granted, they were very short. The <laughs> hobbits were very short, but they were white. So yeah, they were white in the adaptation that you've seen. He's he knows he's building up to something offensive because he's taking a long time to set it up because yeah. he's aware he has to say it delicately, but you know it's coming. Yeah, he likes to, that's how you, in this space, that's how you say offensive things. You just uh, spread it out over a long enough time and hope that people don't understand exactly what you're saying. It's true. Right, then you, you different races, I'm, I'm not, I don't really care that much. Mm -hmm. Do you though? Yes, I did feel like uh, you quickly see like a, a black, a black uh, elf in the new Rings of Power series, and then you see like a, uh, several interracial couples and i'm fine with that like <laughs> you know what unless it feels i'm this... fine with people marrying who they want to marry this feels like a michael scott moment honestly it really does but in the the season three premiere 
gay witch, witch hunt. It really does. Where he's like backtracking when he finds out that Oscar is gay. This is what it feels like. I just... Uh... And I'm fine with that. Hey, I'm surprised well, you they, that. they didn't need your fucking permission. Sorry. Yeah, I'm glad. Like... I'm glad that you're fine with somebody else's choice. Jesus. Yeah. Just ridiculously pushed on us. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. But I feel like there is a lot of people that are just over the wokeness. Mm -hmm. They are... <laughs> the wokeness. Interracial <laughs> couples are wokeness now. It Didn't you guys so know? Woke. Yeah, remember when it was actually woke? Like in the sixties? Look at it look at Morgan's face right now. That is how I feel listening to Paula. I wonder how often she makes that. I wonder face. if she feels the same way in this moment. Well she's, like, mm. she's gonna give her two cents, and I was kind of Pleasantly surprised. We were taken aback, honestly. Over the wokeness being force-fed to us and force Netflix. Fed. Yeah, I'll have You're a woke burger. Wokeness burger, please. Why is it being force-fed to you? Like, you turn on <laughs> the fucking movie, dude. Like, Friend. <laughs> you're the one who turns it on. If it's being forced on you, then maybe go do something else. Like, what? Black people <laughs> existing is wokeness now. Like, it's that's so just... wokeness. I, I truly... Oh, uh, my God. He drives me insane and all of these new shows and so they're kind of like already on edge and so they go into this show and then they see okay well there's an interracial couple from the i don't know what the official name was but they're ultimately like hobbits mm -hmm. wow he really is a big fan fine oh and then there's another interracial couple fine and then there's another interracial couple and it's kind of like okay it's getting a little exhausting the interracial uh what was it dwarf couple and it's mm -hmm. like it's it's starting to feel a little excessive. And I'm not Are saying you? that in, in any way. It's starting <laughs> free couples of people that, oh my God, they're of different. They're not even like in this universe. Interracial could imply that a dwarf and an elf are married or something like that. But no. he's literally just talking about the variety of, of skin color of each of the like species for lack of a better term in a fantasy series like jesus dude i are you just good? The, i don't understand how this is even a thing <laughs> paul paul is like i'm fine with it but it's getting a, a excessive like people it's existing is getting excessive to me like yo 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 hold up oh god i can't I, with this. I might need to pause real quick i just saw an email come through and if this is what I think this is, you are the absolute fucking greatest of all time. Oh, fuck <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Open here. it Hold up. On. Oh, somebody already delivered. <laughs> you guys, this is amazing. Dude. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I shout out to uh, Bad Girl Historian. <laughs> yes, I freaking love this. So Everybody, much. please go over and upvote that shit. Award yes. the shit out of it. Award I'm gonna award the shit it out of that when post. I'm done with this. This is amazing. I love that. Okay. Anyway, Sorry. back to these idiots. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's gonna say that it's not racist. So allow him to continue. A racist. It's just like how many are you gonna put? Like, I don't care at all, but I could see where some of the pushback maybe is coming from. Right. They're obviously doing it on purpose, but <laughs> personally, <laughs> what are they that, doing on purpose? I, I don't know. I feel like she's just kind of agreeing to push what he's saying <laughs> behind them because she's like, okay, this is a little unhinged. I don't know. That's what I'm hoping for. To me, I went in with zero expectations and I had no idea that they were like, intentionally like trying to push this or whatever really so you didn't even like chuckle the third interracial couple that popped up i did not think about it at all i just don't care i i don't know i just enjoyed the show i didn't like to me if anything it just made it uh, like okay let's this was the comments or the the messages the during the live stream yeah yeah why is it distracting interracial couples are normal and for it to be distracting kind of contradicts sa that saying that racism shouldn't be a big deal this is coming across as slightly racist 
love you. Lucy and I both thought it was all weird with the interracial couples but we didn't say it out loud this one killed me that's funny it wasn't enough to cause us to be crazy but this is bezos world this is like okay lady like a couple steps behind but on the right track (laughs) i'm not understanding the word distracting three couples total i don't understand how that would be seen as forcing or pandering totally confusing to me Disagree. There's a lot of interracial couples where I live, and it's pretty normal. They live in the South, don't they? I think they live I th- in Kentucky, I think. I mean, that's the South. I don't know what yeah. the demographics of Kentucky are. Of... All I know about Kentucky is bourbon. That's it. <laughs> I just, yeah, pandering to wokeness. I, yeah. Seriously. Pleasantly surprised that Morgan was like, I was just trying to watch it. And Paul's like offended that she's not counting how many interracial couples in the film. Because apparently once you hit the threshold of three, then it's like yeah. offensive or funny to him Two, for some reason. One one is acceptable. Oh, I, it doesn't matter to me. Two is, is pushing it. And then I guess three is over the line. We can have our one token black person. And they can be there. And then we've got the couple. second and like, mm, they're kind of pushing it. But if we do a third, fuck, man, that's just. We've blown it. the whole thing. Everybody go review bomb it. How do I they live had, like this? I have no idea, dude. Take this show less seriously because like how many, at some point it just gets kind of goofy. And I know what people are saying. People are saying that the books are supposed to be based on medieval Europe. So having black characters is. Actually, I think the books are based on Middle Earth. So. Uh, and there's also a big, uh, a big movement of interpreting this as uh, an allegory for a world war, so you can apply that. As Realistic, but guys, nobody's watching Lord of the Rings for realism, okay? <laughs> They're watching it because they didn't have sex in high school. That's the only reason. And I'm not again saying that in any way other than just like, come on, like how many? It's just you, you chuckle at it. To me, there. <laughs> You chuckle at it. I hate that word. (laughs) I hate that word. I don't like it. It's just the the chuckle bucket. (laughs) That episode. That's why I don't like it. Dirty rocks. There's way more woke shows out there. I personally did not find this these two episodes at least uh, woke or like in your face woke or like work gonna push this down your yeah. throat there, like there are so many shows out paul's like uh oh my my woman is usurping my opinion yeah my very strong opinion that this fantasy show is too woke for me the fixation are doing that and it's so annoying and so gross Morgoth's ring, marginal note against the passage describing the involvement of the second host in the fighting Finrod and Galadriel, whose husband was the Tellery, fought against Feanor in defense of Al... I, this is context if you are familiar with the show or with the writing, but this is Host's totally foreign so to me. just, like, dumb, in my opinion. They have given us the uh, character of Galadriel, young Galadriel, and there is kind of Galadriel, <laughs> Galadriel. Of this, what we see so much now, which we're given a strong female character, and she's like so strong, kind of right. the Captain Marvel she effect. She hears nothing. She is such a leader. She Why is that offense? It's always to you, right. Morgan? And it's like okay, but what we loved about the original trilogy was there was an authenticity and a vulnerability in a like a, just a humanness. Yeah an imperfect even there is no humanness because she is an elf so (laughs) james said imagine paul trying to chop wood and to me that brings to mind that the episode of parks and rec where ron swanson takes tom into the wilderness (laughs) and he's like trying to chop wood and he just has like one little tiny piece with an axe and he's trying to chop it that's what it reminds me of yeah yeah (laughs) They, they experienced emotions and fear. And here's another female character that just is above all that because she's so tough. And so, yeah, I could see, come on, like. That was maybe one, the one thing that was kind of like, okay. Yeah, that was maybe the know. most yeah. in your face. But perhaps, I don't know, like a lot of interracial couples, which is just kind of funny to me. Dude, Why is it is funny to so you? so fixated on this. What is but funny it's... about it? Like, I don't understand. And then their thing with the strong female lead, like, that 
leave it to the people that are going around and about about oh being woke and then they're like liberals are snowflakes and i'm like you guys are literally offended at literally 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 everything literally literally everything literally. like paul is upset about interracial couples existing on earth like i cannot think of a dumber thing to be not upset even on about. earth it's fucking middle earth oh of, my God. of entire continent that is made up well and then the strong female lead stuff they're like wow it's just annoying that there's a strong female lead in this because god we all know women aren't strong and can't you know be a lead in anything because god fuck bye, that's byron. just stupid yeah bye byron if you're on, over um, on TikTok, check us out on YouTube. You can see what we're seeing. But w- why? Yeah. Like, it, you guys spend so much time on things that are like, if it's too woke for you, why watch it? Like, I just keep coming yeah. back to this. What's the point? And you already, people were already talking about this a while back when they put out the, the trailer. Everybody leading up to the release of this series they were talking about this. So it wasn't like this is catching Paul off guard. It seems to me like he just does it to like self-inflict pain and then complain about it or something. I swear to God, maybe he does it because he likes Lord of the Rings. I'm not going to say that that is necessarily the case, but seriously, I've, this is not the first situation where I've seen them talking about media in this way where it seems like they just fucking do it to themselves so that they can bitch about it in the name of Jesus. Well, and it just, there was somebody in the subreddit, I don't know, like, this is alleged. I don't know if they were able to confirm this or not. But apparently, somebody in the Fundy Snark Uncensored subreddit said that Morgan's sister is in an interracial relationship. So if that's the case, I mean, it's offensive no matter what. But if that's the case, this is like it even worse like why are you out here being offended by that i mean maybe go have a conversation with your sister-in-law about why this is so uncomfortable for you like how would it you know like my brain is like buffering like i can't make it make sense to me like i i just can't and they don't want to support a strong female lead or somebody like a woman standing their ground or being powerful or able to do things on their own because then all these idiot right-wing men are going to be like, oh, my woman could do that. And then they wouldn't be submissive to me anymore. And then lo and behold, we have a problem because women can actually, you know, like hold their own and do shit. And so then these Republican men are like, gasp, we can't let women know that they can be strong and successful independent of a man. Seriously. So. Shout out to The Void for uh, the super chat. Uh, we're gonna... As far as that statement goes, it yeah, it's a shame. You know, it's a shame. Oh, it's shame. on her Instagram. We don't oh, know. there you go. So, there you go. Thank you, Rebecca. The extent of it, and even if they their statement sounded a little excessive, it's like, it is a shame that... Yeah, I would really, I really, really hope... A little excessive? I swear to God, people... It has to be spelled out letter by letter for people to notice. And then when it is finally spelled out word for like letter by letter, they're they're mad about, oh, it's excessive and things like that. There are people out there who hate other people based on their skin color alone or their sexual orientation or their gender identity, things of that nature. And you have to say that because why the fuck would you base your life around that kind of ideology? So hi, Shane. Talk about it. Yo, it's Shane. Shane. Join us on YouTube. We love that. He's a Republican man and his wife earned, out earns him twofold. Nothing but proud. See, there you go. But Getting it. the thing about this that gets me is Paul is like, it just seems a little bit excessive. Like, are you the black person that's being. I know. That has microaggressions of thrown think at it's you? It's excessive because you don't live it. You don't. And it's like, I think that's a little excessive. Like, because do you talk to anybody like that or listen or try to listen instead of just pandering to people and being like, oh, my God, this is just so woke. Like, come on. You have people in your family members and it shouldn't take having a black person in your family for you to get the fucking picture. But at least maybe that would like, I don't know, like throw it in your face a little bit more. I don't know. Who's to say? And pull your fucking shirt sleeve down. Who are you trying to impress? Yeah, bro. The, the cast members, the fans of the show are not actually like, 
I hope they're being over dramatic. And, right. and if they're not, then shame on the people who are being roast to them. Like, what the heck is wrong with you people? Yeah, like, uh, if you don't want to watch the show because you think you're forcing too much stuff, yeah, fine. But if you're yeah. actually, like, like it, it just going is... after the cast and the fans of the show, like, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Rare uh, Morgan telling about, about you. Yeah. Very rare. Very rare. So, there's Anyway, our... I think that's about it. But this is... But this, this is nothing new, honestly. No, but this video was perceived so poorly by people that they actually privated the video, which they have never done, at as least in the time that we've we interacted know. with them. Yeah, right now. So it's it's wild that this is something that just... I, I mean, it's not really wild. It's totally predictable. It's just really, really disappointing. I have to sneeze. Hold on. Whew. That came on really suddenly. Um, but this happens all the time. We're seeing it currently with the Little Mermaid trailer, mm. which is also the second time that this is happening with this particular film because they announced it like a year ago or so, and everybody got all, all up in arms about it when they um, announced that. I can't remember her name. I always look at it, and I think Halle Berry, but her name is not Halle Berry. It's really similar. Um, so there's that. I mean, it happened in, back when they released the trailer for uh, The Force Awakens, Star Wars. These are just things that I remember. I remember Kelly Marie Tran, when she starred in The Last Jedi, if I remember correctly, she was getting death threats for just existing in the Star Wars universe. Like, Jesus Christ, people, you get so upset that people who are different from you are being represented in these films. And then Paul went basically mask off and he was like, I just don't connect with the characters. Like, <laughs> Dude, how does that, how do you think that feels to all these people of color who have not felt represented in any Hollywood film basically for a really long time? Yeah. Halle Bailey is what somebody Halle said. Halle Bailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Halle Bailey. What a absolute queen. I'm sure she's going to slay her role as the Little Mermaid. Um, and so it's just ridiculous. And there's a lot of talk about like, oh, it's not canon. And there's no, like Tolkien didn't ever cite any of this stuff. James, why? Or say anything about it. <laughs> James, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for gifted. Uh, if you can see this, that means I figured out how to send <laughs> money messages. <laughs> Shout out um, to, as a contrast to that stupidity, I wanted to show this guy. This guy I really like. I follow him on Insta, or not Instagram, on TikTok. His name's Shane Smith. He grew up in, I guess, technically central Utah, but he is a comedian if you've seen his bit at Dry Bar, he is the Mountain Dew guy, not the throat tattoo guy. Um, but I like him because he is really passionate about nerd shit, which is really cool to me. And his whole thing basically is Lord of the Rings. So I'm going to play this real quick. For those of you who have seen Lord of the Rings, you'll notice the Narsil tattoo on his fucking cheek. So he really is about Lord of the Rings. Let's get some sound here, just as perspective. Do you like the new Lord of the Rings show? Yeah, I do actually. I think it's pretty fun, so. Even though they're messing up the timeline and there's black elves. Yeah, man, uh, it's not canon. It's not real. It's just an imagining of what may have happened in the second age. It's not canon. They should have made it like Peter Jackson's movies. I don't know how to tell you this, man. Peter Jackson's movies are not even kind of canon. They leave out entire plot lines. Main characters don't have correct features. Aragorn's not supposed to have a beard. Frodo doesn't leave the Shire after finding the ring for 10 plus years and buys another different house. There's an entire plot point at the end of Return of the King where the hobbits fight their own tiny war and it's not in the movies. Legolas surfs a shield. 
Peter Jackson's movies are not canon. They're very far away from what happens in the books in a lot of instances. You should try watching Lord of the Rings media and just accept it for what it is. A reimagining of Tolkien's work that everyone can enjoy, that's produced so that people all over the world can also have fun with Tolkien without having to read the incredibly dense extra stuff that we as maniacs like. Let's say that you're right and Tolkien never wanted black elves in Lord of the Rings, which I don't agree with, but even if you were right, Tolkien didn't write the Rings of Power. They're not canon. It's not supposed to be canon. It's a, an imagining of what could have happened in this time. The timeline is messed up, and it's kind of weird, just like Lord of the Rings when Peter Jackson did it. It's for people to enjoy. It's a show, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, are you going to cry about it? No. All right, man, well, I'm gonna continue to enjoy Lord of the Rings and just uh, also my life, and you keep being a weird little guy online. Do so you like the new Lord? When people, the point I'm trying to make that I like that he says, when people use talking points like this, like, oh, it's not canon for there to be black elves or whatever, like, it's just a smoke screen to hide their true feelings on it, which is, it makes me uncomfortable that black people are on screen existing in a role that speaks and has actions and does things. So it doesn't hold water. It doesn't matter that there are black elves. Guess what? It's fucking fake. It's fiction. You like, can do whatever relax. the fuck you want. <laughs> yeah. And if um, the creators over at Amazon wanted to expand the audience by representing a representing a more diverse group of people fucking good on them i like that honestly but like you said it's fake it's not canon even if it were canon it wouldn't matter usually the people who hold these opinions don't read any of the tolkien stuff maybe just read the trilogy or maybe just the hobbit or whatever so it it doesn't matter is so paul probably thinks this because there's some deep-seated problem that he has with a certain group of people that he's been really fucking loud about in the past so does not does not surprise me in the slightest but yeah i haven't seen it yet i'm not a watch week by week kind of person because i can never carve out the specific time every week to do it consistently but anyway just wanted to put that out there for everybody did you have you were looking on the subreddit i added Did something have... in the doc let's do that that's my little diatribe for stuff that doesn't matter about fantasy movies but I, but racism does matter I'm, I'm not trying to discount that also it's worth noting all these people are review bombing it or whatever it's sitting at a 3.5 stars with like eleven thousand views and one of the well-beloved shows of amazon i, I don't know in my circles because i really like I watched Top Gear growing up as a kid. The Grand Tour has a solid four at like 2,000 reviews. So honestly, if this is the best thing, <laughs> that's pretty fucking sad. Let's go to the dock real quick. I can't get over this rock image. I know, dude. Let's throw it. Let me throw it back up here real quick. Let me throw it up here while I'm... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I love this so much. Who was it that did that? Was that Social Spoons? Yes. Social Spoons. Make a t-shirt of this and we will share it. And I would like if I would not want to vulture off of this. Because that's awesome. We're just vibing. Can I put... Um, maybe I can get us on his shoulder too. Too bad we don't have a green screen. <laughs> For real. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, let's check out this last link here. Jordan provided me. This is just funny to me. So this is on Bethany's personal account. Because um, she has her personal and then she has her um, business. She works smart, right? So I decided to launch a new business because Bethany cannot, like, 
review review her things or edit any of her texts to save her fucking life. So she decided to launch this new business. It's a passion. I can't wait to help more women learn through their own online business. She's launching a business, you guys. It's so cool. So <laughs> go ahead. Do you have something else? No, to say? you can add this before I continue. Oh, here we go. We got lots of office references today. She works sharp. Back at it sharp. again. <laughs> You could just add an A <laughs> before the U. That would Let's say, say Lanch, Lanch party, party, Kevin. Kevin. Would you rather it say Lanch Party? <laughs> I fucking anyway. love that. Anyway, so Bethany does need a proofreader, like seriously. Because remember, she's selling her course that she's creating that she hasn't done yet that I think was supposedly going to be done in September. I still have seen nothing of it. Allegedly. Allegedly. And so... Mind you that, but scroll down a little bit on this picture just so you can see the rug. I want everybody to get a good look at this photo. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me, but the table's what on the fucking fuck? stilts. Like, it's on a fucking package look at this what is happening why is it just so it doesn't it's look because so because she's tall so she's... she doesn't have to slouch over i guess i guess i don't know i just thought it was it really fucking funny crop your shit dude <laughs> this is her this is the space that she is filming her course content in um everybody was like oh did you pay for a space or whatever no. And she was like, no, this is in my parents' office building. Like, what do her parents do? Or they rent an office building or oh, something. I don't know. That's weird. It was something to do with her parents. No, it's all four legs. You can't see the other. You the can't other see the others, but it, but it is. That definitely... would be funny. I, it was a really weird perspective when I first saw it. I was like, what the fuck? This is like MC Escher's table. How is this sitting like this? <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> I can't with her. So I thought that was funny. She's still working on that uh, course that's supposed to, I thought she said September, but they're also supposed to move soon because their lease is up, but they're buying a house and they haven't even got like their loan situation stuff figured out yet and they need to be out by November. And so they're kind of playing it like dangerously close to the vest if it were were me. But when you have rich parents to fall back on, it probably doesn't really matter. Um, she's also pregnant. So, you know, there's there's that. Oh, God. I had forgotten about that. That's going to be a long pregnancy for all of us. Why are all these fundies pregnant at the same time? Dude, right. Seriously, though, why didn't she just sit up? Like, I imagine that that's how it Well, Her feet aren't even flat on the floor. Mabel, Mabel, if you're able, get, get your, your elbows, elbows off, off the, the table. table. Yeah. Also, her feet aren't even flat. She must be sitting on something. She's tall. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, and the water bottle's on there, too. There's... So, Bethany and her husband are um, buying a home. So, they're in the process of, like, getting a loan and things and working out that process yeah. and stuff. And so, that... They haven't even worked that out. I think she's aware that, like, content creation and stuff like owning your own business is notably pretty fucking unreliable when it comes to securing a loan they've got to be like solely reliant on um, dave on dave because <laughs> i don't otherwise see how they would be able to afford a house because i don't think what bethany is bringing in is negligible so anywho she is very tall yeah she's tall so that's why i'm like why there's no way that she's sitting with her feet tiptoe like that with how tall she is. For real. It's and this is like a ta like a dinner table chair. I don't know what you classify that as or what the standard height is. Kind of weird, kind of weird, but yeah, everybody make sure you go check out 
Bethany's Bethany's two thousand dollar course business lunch. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll only be fifteen hundred before she raises the price. No, I oh, think sorry. it's eighteen hundred. Discounted at to eighteen hundred before it goes back to the original price of two grand. Correct. What a steal. What a steal. What a steal for something that you have no fucking idea what is going to be in the course. Love, love, love that for me. Do love that for me. You can thrift a table if money is an object. That's true. That's true. If money is an object, I would not be in the market of looking at a house, which I'm not. Anyway, I think that covers everything that we had in the the doc. In the doc for tonight, is there any? Dude, it's raining so hard right now, which I can is still amazing. Hear it. Uh, we live in a desert shithole. Thank you, Brigham. I don't know why I'm looking up. He's definitely down. <laughs> Thanks, Brigham. You fucking asshole. Love that for me. Oh my god. I've been to a handful of drag events and not once seen a child. That's what... I mean, I've never been to a drag event either. I don't know anything about drag culture or anything like that. The things that conservatives drum up, I feel like, are mostly fabricated. I could be wrong. I personally wouldn't mind taking my kid. Um, it's just... A personal preference but yeah i mean the, people were brigading a school district because they th uh cons facebook conservatives were like out here saying that the schools had installed cat litter boxes so oh my God. kids who identify as cats felines could go to the bathroom you can't actually think that that's legit social spoons i'm concerned <laughs> It's not social spoons. Gonna... Social. Oh, it's not? I thought you said what? No. They were the one that was confused about the rock, but they were not the one who made it. Oh, okay. Shout out. Shout out bad girl historian. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. fucking go, dude. <laughs> you work so fast. You are so fast. Okay, hold I up, guys. This. Let's pull this up. Let's oh go! <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I can't with this right now. Dude, what is, where is this from? Where were we? That's on our Instagram. That was at the pumpkin patch. Oh, it was, huh? It looks like I'm wearing slippers. Our, <laughs> our shoes got keyed <laughs> <No>. out. <laughs> oh my God. It's probably is... fucking it up. I had to Photoshop the kid out. Oh, yes. Thank you. We appreciate that. Oh, good that. call. Good call. Good call. That yeah. is freaking funny. That has to go somewhere. We have to put that somewhere. Yeah. How can we give you credit? What are we going to do with it? We have to do something with it. You Shit, Pride bro. Center does have family events so you can take your kid and meet people. Awesome. We love that. That'll definitely come up right before we leave so you guys can all have a a fun time with that. Anyway, yeah, what are we missing? It's been a good week. Oh, we can talk about our... We were out of town last week. That's why we didn't have a normal live stream on Tuesday. We went to go see, because we couldn't do it in our current state, but we went to our home state of Colorado to see Hades Town live at the Buell Theater. Review, Jordan. Review of how Hades Town. How did you feel about Hades Town live? It was amazing. Um, I feel like in these scenarios, what did, what did you think about the your date? Great. 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 You heard it here first. Great. <laughs> I am just of the theater obnoxious theater kid, former theater kid group that if you're going to see a play, it's helpful to listen to the soundtrack first to kind of get an overall vibe and then go because then you can appreciate it more. 
Some people like the opposite of that and think the opposite does that, which is fine. But that's just the way I do it. And I listened to Hades Town on repeat for months while I was pregnant because I was super depressed. And so I have a very tender relationship to Hades Town. Um, but it was really good. It was really good. It's a really like small production. Um, small cast. Like most of the people on stage are the orchestra. Yeah. And there's like probably like eight or nine of them total, I think. Yes, we did get recognized. And we were literally yeah, talking dude. about how crazy it would be if we got recognized while we were in Denver because we are of the understanding that the only reason we get recognized around here is because we're in Utah and everybody's like either super Mormon yeah. or super ex-Mormon. Well, and a lot of people here in Utah have seen us on Mormon stories. Right. Which is usually the common denominator for a lot of people. Right. So we get recognized here like a decent amount, which is still like a lot unsettling. But we were like, it'll be fucking crazy if we get recognized in Denver. And we did. Shockingly enough, intermission hit. Um, intermission came up at Hades Town when we were at the Denver Center for Performing Arts. And there was somebody behind us that was like, do you two have a podcast? And we were like, gasp. So her name was Denise. Shout out, Denise. Um, they were literally sitting behind us. Yeah, we could shoot spitballs at them. Yeah. Honestly. It, like, the, if you were in the lobby, I would think that's more likely but being seated that close to somebody who had seen us before it was like surreal it really uh solidified my testimony of ex-mormonism i know the church isn't true there you go <laughs> but it was shout out denise if you're if you're in here in here it she recognizes from mormon stories so that's fine if she isn't in here but shout out it's pretty awesome wait did our connection go poo poo oh, it's on the it's in the shitter again which is okay, because we're about to wrap this bitch up. Sorry, everybody. Well, if you can still hear our audio. Audio. We love you. I don't know if this is even salvageable. I don't know if you guys can hear us, but nonetheless, we love you. We're going to have a video on Monday. You are going to love our video on Monday. Um, especially you fundy people are going to love it. So we will be usual recorded, pre-recorded video Monday, yeah. usual live stream Tuesday next week. We are like back on the fucking schedule with We're no disruption. Yeah, we don't have any plans to go anywhere. So hopefully... Hopefully Audio. we'll be sticking to our guns and we'll be doing shit. If you missed the beginning, I want to reiterate, we now have, you can join and be a member of our channel, which is like becoming a patron. Um, go to the beginning of the, the live stream and hear kind of part of the reasoning why. If you would like to join, there's the little button down there by the subscribe button or somewhere. Uh, so check that out. It's all the same perks as being a patron. Plus a little bit more because Patreon doesn't have the integration with YouTube. So if that's something you would like, exclusive content, bloopers, meetups, fucking uh, lot early access to our videos, ad-free content, then check that out um, down below. I can't even really say the description. But down below. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Do we have anything else? I want to send us off. With this oh, beautiful wait. fucking picture right here. Caroline said, can all the fellow toddler parents in the chat send a party emoji because my one-year-old slept through the night in his own crib for the first time ever last week? Hell. I'll just the fuck out of the audience. Yeah. Let's go. Let's fucking go. That's Let's amazing. Let's go. Love it. Love, Love the fellow shit. foot soldiers in here. Distorted homies. Everybody is living in distortion. Thank you for letting us uh, manipulate you into subscribing and being a cool, awesome fan of our channel, our show, and all of that shit. We this love you so much. This live will be saved. Uh, you can watch it afterwards. Somebody asked. Yeah, you can. Yeah, we always leave them live to watch afterwards, so you can uh, scrub through. 
we will try to add the chapters in in case you want to go back and watch it a specific segment and you can't find it so i will do that tomorrow we love y'all we love toddlers sleeping through the night we've been really lucky in that front um and we will see y'all soon love you besties whoops <laughs>